In Manatee County, Southeast High School's football team is making a final push for the playoffs. But one of the players has spent nearly a decade quietly pushing for equality in the sport. ABC 7's Adam Cellini has the story of Liz Kirby, the local football player rushing through the game's gender barrier. Southeast High School football started 2017 5-0, their best record since 2004. Keep going, keep going. But 7-0 is also a special number. It represents a player making her own history at Southeast and in football. I started with cheerleading and then went to soccer, and then um, they told me I couldn't come back to soccer because I was too aggressive. Senior offensive lineman Elizabeth Kirby started football at the age of eight, full contact and against the boys. That first practice, we got to hit people. I was like, this is something I want to do. You know, it took out the aggression and stuff that I had because my parents were getting divorced at the time. That all happened. So, like, I had all that aggression and stuff, like, pent up in me. And then, so, like, it turned into something that I can, like, use. Elizabeth's mother, Tammy, grew up an avid Ohio State football fan just an hour north of Columbus. But she admits watching her daughter on the field was, at first, a bit unnerving. The first practice, she took a really hard hit. But she earned the respect of all the coaches that day because they said that most boys would not have gotten up. And she got up because she was angry. <laughs> that anger would turn into love for the sport, one that would endure some teasing early on from other kids. And even today, reactions are mixed when people see that blonde braided ponytail coming from a football helmet. I've gotten different reactions. I've gotten like, why are you like, why do you want to do this? Or she shouldn't be playing. She can get hurt. She can, um, she's not going to be as strong as them. Freshman year, she did get hurt. An awkward collision led to a torn ACL in her knee and two rods in her arm, making her junior year transition to varsity even more difficult. Would I get injured again? Would the guys think of me differently? Like they would, they try to go easy on me. Southeast coaches had to adjust too. For the first time in their football lives, they'd welcome a girl onto the gridiron. There was some hesitation to begin with, just, you know, being protective and not wanting seeing anyone get hurt. But, you know, once she displayed that she was able to protect herself, you know, then it was just treat her like a football player, not like a uh, male or female. Now, certain things had to be tweaked to accommodate Liz, who, of course, gets dressed in a separate locker room. But head coach Rashad West says her passion to play outshines any adjustments. Her and her family's really made it easy for us. I mean, again, they haven't asked for any special treatment, and she just jumped right in and got going just like the guys do. And while she may only see limited action as a backup on varsity, she's done plenty to earn the respect of her seminal teammates. So she's not like one of the people that are slack. She actually wants to work hard so she can do good and show the coach that she can do good in the games. Even younger brother TJ considers his big sis a role model. Whenever we do one-on-ones, I try to match up, match up against her because it's fun. All right. Like I go like 75% against other people, but against her, try to go full strength. While Liz has been in high school, the NFL has welcomed both its first female referee and coach. And earlier this year, another Florida high schooler became the first girl to start at quarterback, throwing a touchdown on her first pass. Now Kirby is among those lined up, helping break through football's gender wall. This is likely the last football season for Liz Kirby. Her and her mother tried to reach out to some college recruiting services, but they were turned down because none of them would work with a girl. However, she may still try to walk on to a football team depending on where she ends up for college. In Bradenton, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Adam, thank you.